What is going on YouTube? I am Bacchus Guy here with another video. In today's video, the build we are going with today is going to be incorporated with the explosive personality grenade rocket launcher or rocket launcher grenade launcher. You hear that chat? Grenade rocket launcher. By the way, I am live at twitch.tv slash Bacchus Guy right now and we are grinding these weapons. We're grinding all the materials to do more weapons just like this one. So I went with hard launch, implosion rounds, auto loading holster, turnabout, which once you break a shield, it will give you an overshield and that'll tie more into the build later when I show you guys. And land take, final blows with this build will grant me increased resilience and damage resistance from combatants, making me more survivable. So on the helmet, we have psionic forging two, it increases the duration of land tank. Reactive pulse, so I gain an, a powerful overshield while performing a finisher. Um, if I'm charged with light and I get attacked, it will emit a burst of damaging arc energy. Hands-on, gain bonus super energy on melee kills. On, I mean, the gauntlets are basically pretty basic. I got elemental charge with some champion mods. I mean, that's pretty basic, right? It is what it is. But this is where it gets kind of juicy. Thermoshock plating, well of tenacity, void resistance, and then, of course, concussive dampener. And I'm going to be pairing that with protective light with my scavs um now i know that a lot of people are going to question me and ask me well why are, why are you doing that i'm going for the most optimal survivability that i can and that is why i am pairing well of tenacity with elemental time dilation so it'll go from five seconds to eight seconds those three seconds are the difference between you living and you dying trust me and then i'm going to use utility kickstart with suppression mastery when we get into the subclass, I'm running Healing Rift. Clyde doesn't really matter. I usually run Strafe, to be honest. Suppression Nade, Child of the Old Gods, and Feed the Void. Child of the Old Gods, when I'm running a Healing Rift, will grant me Grenade and Melee Energy when it is siphoning, doing that Void Siphon ability. So, I'm also rocking Echo of Reprisal, Final Blows while I'm surrounded, will grant me Super Energy. Echo of Leeching, me melee final blows start health regeneration for me and nearby allies. Echo of Obscurity, finish your final blows, grant invisibility. So while I'm getting that overshield, I'm also going invisible. Uh, An Echo of Undermining, my void grenades weaken targets. So not only am I suppressing them, I'm weakening them at the same time, making champions and bosses way more easy to take down. Um, I'm pretty excited about this build. I just made it uh, literally on stream and I'm about to test it out now. Like I said, if you want to come hang out, twitch.tv slash and I will see you guys in the next one.